First of back-to-back -back games here in Staples Center for the Hornets. Caruso, three-pointer. Los Angeles Lakers guard Alex Caruso has become a bit of a cult hero. Think of him as a symbol of the everyman who in a typical world would never sniff an NBA roster, much less actually be a productive member of a team likely to make a deep run in the playoffs. But there is nothing typical about Alex Caruso's story, or for that matter, any story of the underdog who beat the odds to excel in their particular craft. Caruso wasn't the first, and he definitely won't be the last. The question is, where's the next Caruso hiding? How's it going, everybody? My name is Troy, and this is the Half Court Report. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at who the next Alex Caruso could be. Now, on this channel, I take a deep dive into all things NBA, so when you subscribe, you'll get things like team analysis, a breakdown of NBA news and rumors, stories, what-if scenarios, a whole lot more. Right now, I'm posting a few times a week at 6 p.m. Eastern, so if you're a fan of the NBA, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Maybe toss in a like or a comment as well. This is a new channel, and every little bit helps, and I want to get to 100 subscribers by the end of March. Okay, on to today's video. Every hero has an origin story. So first, let's get a quick refresh about the man, the myth, the legend that is Alex Caruso. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Time out for a second. Come back to me. Let's get something out of the way first real quick. No one actually believes Caruso will lead the Lakers or any team to the championship promised land. Because, I mean, part of the fun of Alex Caruso is that he's in on the joke. But... Then you ask, is it even a joke, really? I mean, this is a guy making millions of dollars to play a game, travel, be treated like royalty. So maybe the joke's on us, or maybe it's somewhere in between. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, back to the video. Caruso was born in College Station, Texas, and grew up immersed in Texas A&M University and its basketball program. Naturally, he would go on to play for the Aggies after earning regional and state honors in high school. His four-year college career was solid but unspectacular. He made the NCAA tournament in only his senior year and, for his career, averaged 8 points, 3.7 rebounds, and 4.7 assists. Caruso's first year out of college was spent with the NBA G League's Oklahoma City Blue. His big break came the following year when he signed a two-way deal with the Lakers, followed two seasons later with his current two-year $5.5 million deal. So the question still remains, once the shine of Caruso wears off, who's going to be that player that the proverbial torch has passed to? Well, in order to determine who that might be, it's important to understand the traits that make Caruso so likable and so fun to root for. Let's look at it. First, the player must be undrafted. It even helps if they're undrafted from a school that isn't a basketball powerhouse. The player can't be someone who left school after a couple years and failed to get drafted. Because, I mean, after all, part of a good underdog story is spending years practicing, honing the skills, and still falling short of that NBA dream when all the college eligibility is gone. Plus, the next Caruso can't be super athletic, because if they were, they would have been drafted or, at the very least, been told by enough people that they would be drafted, which would have caused them to leave school early. Refer to the previous point. And they need to be relatable enough to the average NBA fan, because an uber-athletic player can't do that. It also helps if the player doesn't make an NBA roster right away. The next Caruso needs to have experienced hardships at every level. They have to have played overseas or spent some time with a G League team like Caruso did. Finally, the player must be more than a fan favorite, more than just a human victory cigar that comes in when the team is up by 20 points. Caruso actually makes an impact on the court that brings winning, inspires his teammates, and has earned the trust of his coaches. So who fits that bill? Allow me to make a case for John Conchar. Now stay with me. I know you're asking, how are the paths of Conchar and Caruso similar? Let's break it down. First, undrafted. Check. 
Conchar's perceived limited upside due to his age and athleticism left his name uncalled on draft night. Small, non-powerhouse basketball school. Yeah, there's a check on that one too. Conchar repped the Purdue University Fort Wayne Mastodons of the Horizon League. Ever heard of it? Yeah, chances are probably not. But hey, cool mascot name at least. He even stayed in college longer than Caruso, redshirting his first year and playing for four years after that. The do-it-all combo guard was a Swiss Army knife of a player during his time in Indiana, averaging 15.5 points, 8.6 rebounds, and 4.2 assists over his college career. And get this, his senior year, he even joined former NBA All-Star Penny Hardaway as the only college player to average at least 19 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 2 steals in a season. Conchar's college resume helped him earn the second two-way spot with the Memphis Grizzlies G League affiliate, the Memphis Hustle. And like Caruso, Conchar's playing time during his first NBA season has been sporadic, but there have been instances where Conchar's potential as a hustle player and a defensive menace have been on full display. One instance, his 4.7 rebound, 2 assist, 3 steal performance against the Rockets. And you also have his 5-point, 3-rebound, 2-assist, two 2-steal, two 1-block night in his win against Caruso and the Lakers. I mean, just look at what he did to Dwight Howard. Here's Caruso, 6'5", going up against Dwight Howard. Both performances came within his first 10 career games. And Conchar's abilities are being noticed, with NBA fans ready to anoint him as the next heir apparent, or maybe that should be hair apparent, to Caruso. Twitter is full of fans clamoring for Conchar jerseys and pleas for more playing time. In terms of what's next for Conchar, the end of the G League season and the Grizzlies' current injury issues will give him the opportunity to grow and improve at the NBA level. The Memphis Hustle run the same offense as the Grizzlies, so that makes for a smooth transition to the main roster. The Memphis coaches have also put Conchar in a position to succeed by playing him with teammates that allow him to focus on his passing, rebounding, and making hustle plays. So when you're looking for that next Alex Caruso, you may want to start by walking in Memphis. What do you think? Who's your money on becoming the next Alex Caruso? If you've watched this far, then you are a true Caruso fan. Type Alex into the comments and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. Comments are always great too. The first question in the comments is going to get answered in my next video. Until then, my name is Troy and this has been the Half Court Report. Hey guys, one more thing. Here's some more videos to check out on the Half Court Report channel. I hope you like them, and thanks for watching.